How we doing guys? We got a fun one today. We're gonna be tinkering around with the old Holtz Pharma. I believe it's a 360 and a still model. And we got some pretty big trees to take down, at least for this guy. We're really gonna be putting it to the test. To start off the video right, we've got, I don't know, some bigger trees and some smaller trees here, but the client, my who is actually my neighbor, is gonna clean out this ditch and he's got a government contract and they're gonna come in and dam it up down there, rip out a lot of these smaller trees. But the reason I'm here cutting trees down is, I don't know, some government ruling says that these certain trees house bats or bat habitat and they've gotta come down before the 1st of April, I think it is. So we're sitting at the end of February right now. We've had some pretty nice weather. Uh, it's been like in the 70s, there's been record, record highs um, this year. But it just dropped down last night to about 15 degrees. The wind was pretty bad, and but today the sun's out. I'm itching to cut down some trees. So we're gonna give this old Holtz Farmer a test real run for our money because typically this isn't a logger saw it's if you're running the still version of this you'd be using it to cut up firewood not necessarily cutting trees down with it i mean some would their typical average homeowner but i wouldn't i would pick up a 500i for a 400 maybe for stuff like this so not only are we putting this thing to the test in that from that standpoint but we're also really putting the test it to the test because it's a Chinese knockoff. So we're really gonna see if it can stand up to a day of logging or whatever you wanna call this clear cutting. So I'm gonna start out with this smaller tree. It's pretty small. And then we're gonna see what an 18 inch bar and a Chinese clone can do on that bigger cottonwood down there. See if we can get her done. The wind's right, so. Let's get to cutting. so good bang her over one thing I've noticed with this is that it always falls out of tune if you're gonna be running these a lot you're definitely gonna learn want to learn how to tune these because the carb always seems to like I said, fall right out of tune. Kind of annoying. But it's $300, so. What can you really expect?
thing that's important to note about this job is it is my neighbor and he owns his own skid loader and grapples so all I have to do is come in here cut him down and he's gonna come back through with a skid loader and put it all into a brush pile so I'm cutting it up into sections so he can come through and grab it see what this puppy can do <laughs> You know how I told you it kind of falls out of tune? So it might have just been because it was cold. Because it's warmed up and I haven't done a thing to it and it's it's right back in. When I first started it, that you could see my low idle, my chain was spinning. But now it's falling right back into tune, which is nice. Got another leaner here. Let's get this out of the way. Let's do another bore cut. Look at the size of those four. All righty then. Ripper. These damn thorns keep getting me. 
I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. I mean, I know I've only cut down three trees, but I'm not the best at making these longer segmented videos. I mean, I don't have the experience doing it. I really like making the shorts. It's easier. <laughs> So, I'm wearing the new cask super plasma hard hat. And it's got this silver mirror visor on it. Pretty cool looking. Doesn't really do much for the sawdust. It all, it all gets in your eyes. Come on, girl. So, this tree, it's a baby, but it wants to go right there, pretty hard. I'm gonna try to squeeze it by right here. Um, and I might put a Siswell in it, so that even if it does hit it, it'll wanna roll off. <laughs> So 
before I was rudely interrupted by a dead GoPro battery, I wanted to talk about the Siswell that I just did. A lot of guys will tell you that there's no reason to do them unless you're dealing with super tall trees. And a lot of guys will tell you, oh, you could just steer it by putting more hinge on this side, and you can. I mean, that's how I was originally taught. And then when I learned this Siswell and what it could do on really like heavy leaners, just find myself using it more often than I I don't especially with side leaners and and things that are like they'll probably make it but I'll put a Siswell in it because it's fun and it works so anyway it's probably my favorite thing to do all right Uh, we've got that cut up we're gonna go tackle the monster cottonwood now I've got more trees to cut down but I really only wanted to come out here and film for one day and I figured I'd really test the capabilities of this saw and myself really it's a big tree for this saw Let's get a face in it. Hopefully there's some solid wood in there and 
we don't have to worry about it too much actually i think i'm going to cut that crappy mulberry down first get that out of the way <laughs>
Nice. Nice. All right, let's clean it up. Okay, pretty big face for that small of a saw. Not exactly flat, but that's okay. It'll go. I probably should have made my face a little bit more open. That way I don't struggle getting my saw in there. We'll see. I'm bar's not long enough so I'm gonna go ahead mark out how big of a square I need to bore out <laughs>
up a lot. There she goes. That's a hell of a fell for this saw. Absolutely ridiculous. I mean, let's just be honest, like, this saw is not meant to do that, but it did it. I wanted to put it to the test. It dies a lot. I mean, the tune falls out of it. It's annoying, but I mean, it speaks for itself. Look at that hinge. Bored out the center from the front. Bored out, or uh, took that piece out the back so I could reach it. So there's no holding wood right here. And uh, it wasn't pretty, but we got it done. That's for sure. That is just absolutely ridiculous what that saw just did. I'm so amazed. You know, I'm a little nervous about posting this video because it's one of the first tree tree videos I posted other than YouTube shorts. And, uh, and so doing something like that with this saw really puts a bad image on who you are because you're not supposed to do stuff like this. At least in my opinion. Let's grab this out of the way just in case that log decides to roll. Um, but... absolutely amazing i think it was worth it i think it's worth it i'm gonna post it but anyways i think i'm gonna go home since my house is right down the road and this is a kind of a neighborly job you know i'm doing it for a neighbor so it's no biggie and then i'll come back and i'll buck it later it needs a new chain anyways the uh the rakers were a little low on it today as you guys might have tell or could tell but Anyways, thank you all for watching. Um, I really do appreciate it. God bless.